Alright, so you remember my hitch install video at my buddy's shop and the step bar that I went ahead and added to it. What I'm going to do is put an adapter on this. It's a dual uh, hitch receiver that will elevate the step uh, about 9 inches high from where it is now, so it'll probably put it close to the top of my existing bumper on the back of my Sienna and it'll allow a dual purpose, one for you know, towing if I put a hitch on the lower uh, on the lower part of the receiver and the upper part would be for accessories like my step bar here so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, tripod and everything set up so you can check out the install but I'll do an overview of it uh, coming out of the box before I do the install pretty neat accessory by the way All right, what we have here is a hitch accessory, I guess you could say. Uh, this is a dual hitch receiver. It allows your hitch to be used for dual purposes. The bottom hitch will be used for towing a trailer, boat, or camper, while the upper tube can be used for carrying a bike rack, cargo carrier, or other hitch accessories like my step bar there. Um, the receiver hitch extension is an all steel construction with a tongue weight of around 400 pounds. The receiver hitch is, of course, powder coated black and requires a class 3, class 4 trailer hitch, which I have. Um, it's basically max capacity is 4,000 pounds. Overall length is 17 inches long by 9 inches in height. So, yep, this is. Man, this thing is stout. Uh, another thing I discovered. If you got one of these locking sleeves, uh, this is a 5 inch sleeve adapter that would go over the half inch um, shank. It will fit in this hole here, but the other holes it will not. So that's why you got to take the sleeve off to allow it to fit in the hole there. I broke out my old two inch hitch just for demonstration. I'm not going to keep it on uh, this extension adapter, but yep, just to show how this will go together. There's my locking, my locking shaft here. So that comes undone, and then get my camera there. Yep, see it'll fit in that hole. No problem when you take the you take the sleeve off. Of course, this little O-ring here is you know what holds the, the sleeve in place. But I've already taken it off for demonstration purposes. So yep, this is what you would do for locking it in your adapter. So it'll fit in these two holes, just like so, and. Uh, Yep, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you here. Mm. Yep, slides in just like that. So that would be for the towing, and then the upper bar there would be for like the step bar that I have. So pretty neat little adapter. And yep, I'll be installing this on my 2007. Toyota Sienna in just a bit. Yeah, try to get everything to fit. I don't want to scratch that up too bad, but <laughs> sometimes it can't be helped. So there you go. There's kind of a little overview of this dual hitch receiver.
five eighths and I need a half inch. <laughs> oh well, I thought I had a pin that would work, but no, 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 no. close-up look at it here so yep there you go there's the nine inch rise and of course it'll clear the hatch when you close it yep no problem at all so yeah and I'll go ahead and test it you know for stability pretty pretty neat so yeah main reason I got this hitch as I mentioned before in the original video was for safety reasons so you don't get rear-ended or if you do at least it would lessen the impact uh, quick story my parents were in an accident where they were rear-ended pretty much full speed in a Jeep Grand Cherokee that they had and luckily the hitch uh, absorbed most of the impact and they, it actually hit them so, so hard it knocked them into oncoming traffic. Luckily there was nothing coming, but they credit the uh, heavy duty hitch that was on the Jeep for saving their lives basically. So on the same note, I'm kind of doing the same thing with this and you know, with this trailer hitch. I really have no plans on towing anything. but. The ability is there now, but for the most part, it's for safety to protect me and my investment from somebody who's not paying attention and could possibly hit me in the back. So, there you go. A uh, dual hitch receiver, 17 inches in length by 9 inches in height meant for towing on the bottom and accessories on the top like a bike rack or something like that so excellent really neat piece of uh, equipment here so but yeah just a quick overview and install open box and all that of a dual receiver accessory oh yeah and uh, as a little side note what I'm thinking about doing is flipping this over because actually the clearance on the hitch, if I flip it over and put the ball on the underside because this thing is so low to the ground on the Sienna that uh, it would uh, help eliminate possibly dragging the ground but also you know it would put it probably close to you know the back of the step bar here but won't won't hit it so that's something I'm considering maybe doing another video of because I don't have a crescent wrench big enough to get this bolt off. I thought I did but I don't. That thing's a huge bolt. So yeah, because maybe I can just flip flip this over, you know, like this. And uh, yeah, put the hitch ball on top and it won't even hit the, the bar there. So we'll see.